So I was in Parliament um, to give an update on the implementation of the Right to Information Act. Mm -hmm. I have um, every year since the Act started, I've gone to Parliament to give an update on the implementation of the Act. You know, we pass a lot of laws in Ghana. Sometimes we have problems with implementation, and we also don't have a lot of may I say accountability in Parliament, even when laws are passed and handed over to a particular minister. So I was there to do my duty as a minister. When I was done, I got a call from the National Security Secretariat. What time was it? This was around 2.30. Mm -hmm. I got a call from the National Security um, Secretariat, scrambling um, a number of persons who usually are invited when there's a security situation, including myself, to come to what I'll probably call a situation room up there to get an update of what was going on. So we went in and... Who else was at this meeting, if you can tell us? Um, I can tell you, for example, the Interior Minister was there, the National Security Minister was there, and the uh, police liaison officer who was reporting between the police command center and um, this team of persons who are in, in, informed when anything goes on of a security nature brought the brief, and in that brief updated uh, what had transpired, that uh, the demonstration was supposed to start at a particular point in time. It was becoming obvious that the demonstrators um, were not willing to comply with the orders of the court and had, uh, had, had started attacking um, the police of officers who were there to protect and serve them, mm -hmm. the demonstrators and other members of the general public. So we inquired, what's the nature of these attacks? And the first we were told, the first we were told was that tear gas had been fired not by police persons. Mm. And so we inquired, how can other persons, well, they said it's early days, they would have to investigate, but they have footage that shows tear gas coming into the police arena. And just as you played your video, if you play back, mm -hmm. you will find the first rounds of tear gas coming into where the second line of police persons are. It was later this evening that, as the footage was being reviewed, mm -hmm. I even now got an understanding of it. When you watch the, the footage... Was directed at the police? Was it directed at the police? At the police. Mm. According to the police, mm -hmm. the very first bout of tear gas came at the police. You will find that there are two lines of police. There are police in riot gear, in helmets, etc., in the front lines. Mm -hmm. And then there are police who, we are told, were brought... Uh, 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 there, not necessarily as part of the inner perimeter, but to help direct traffic and move motorists and assist other people who are around. Because usually the police apparently go to these events with two lines of police. Mm -hmm. So you find those in riot gear and those who are not in riot gear, those who are in normal police uniform. And you'll find the tear gas come towards the second line where those who are not in um, riot uniform are. At least that was the account the police gave us. So these are those in riot uniform on your screen? These are those in riot uniform. Mm -hmm. In the reel that you played, yeah. which is not exactly this yeah, one. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that. Yeah, you, will find, to you will find two lines of police mm -hmm. and the tear gas coming into the second line of police. Okay. Then we were told also that there was a group of demonstrators who were up on the um, uh, overhead. The crime and crime circle overhead. Yes, so initially the police were mounted between the um, Obras port and I think the Nima Highway. And so, on the back of the protesters, there was another group that was up on the... A brass spot is when you approach uh, Kwame Nkrumah Circle from Dankwa Circle, and um, then you get to the circle and you turn right, as yeah. though you were going to the left, Achimota. Rather. Or you turn left, as yes. though you're going to Adabraka. Yes. Okay. So that's where you okay. find it. So the police are mounted between there mm -hmm. and the Nima Highway. Nima and, Highway. Well, the, the, the main Nima stretch that comes through Nima... Um, Nima Police Station and then across the Flagstaff. Yes, 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 yes. To, okay. to, to the Jubilee House roundabout. Okay. So up on the terrace, you'll find some other protesters. According to the police, the next thing they realized were stones flying from the overhead. There's a footage from Ghana Web. Your viewers can go to Ghana Web, where journalists are reporting that they had to flee, and that angle is from the overhead. There are shots of protesters throwing stones at the police. Mm -hmm. This According happened around 3 o'clock or happened before? Around, well, this is the account that we are getting around 2.30 to 3 o'clock. So, so this happened before? Yes, yeah, so okay. this obviously happened um, what, before. What must have occasion, did it tell you? Or? I don't know, I'm just reporting okay. to you the information. Mm -hmm. According to the police, the officers who were in helmet 
um, were saved. It was only one of them who, you know, the helmet goes over your, your, your ear and you mm -hmm. loop the, the, the edges over your ears. Mm -hmm. So it was only one of them who then had a cut on his ear. They called it, I think, a laceration or so. So you find one officer with a cut on his ear, though he was wearing a helmet, because he had that cut. The officers who were not in helmet, there were two of them who had stones hit their heads. I saw them at the police head, I mean at the police hospital this evening. They have had to come out of theater with their heads sutured. Mm. The doctors explained all of it to us. Two policemen. There were five other police women I saw this evening when I oh, went women. there. Yes, five That's women. Right. Young women between the ages of, what is it, about 24 to maybe 28. The only crime is that they've gone to take a job in the police service to protect and serve citizens. Five of them injured in the police hospital this evening. That's where I'm coming from with the minister responsible is for the Is that you with the photograph the back? That's me with the minister for the interior visiting some of the person. These are the doctors and the senior police officers. That's the IGP. That's, um, I think, COP Habiba, who's in charge of uh, welfare, because they were there to ensure that they are injured persons. The police statement at the time said 12. As at the time we were leaving, 15 police officers have had various injuries and are the police uh, uh, hospital responding to uh, treatment. So they explained to us what happened, and then it led to the burning of tires, Some of the ladies on the bed? Yes, this is one of the female police officers um, who was injured on the bed. Um, with so stone? I don't exactly know what, okay. the, what uh, was the cause of it. Is he plain clothes? No, 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 no. They, they were in uniform. So, uniform so, off, yeah. so some have taken off their tops. So you see their black undershirts mm. there. Some still had their tops on. This one, I think, still had a bit of her top. Uh, okay. okay. Those who had their heads injured were men. Mm -hmm. Two men with their heads injured who have had to go through surgery. And then um, one other policeman whose ear had been um, injured. You'll find him bleeding in one of the photos, I think, that was shared. Then there was a burning of tires um, and all the chaos that ensued. I think that first we should commend the police, the policemen and women, for their uh, professionalism. Um, I think if you watch the footage from this morning, the IGP was very clear that these are supposed to be your brothers and sisters. Treat them with all the respect and decorum and assist them to exercise their constitutional rights under Article 21 d which gives you the right to join an assembly, to protest, to process uh, as you please. Um, and even when they were attacked by these persons, though they had superior force that they could use even in their own defense, in compliance with the instructions of their superiors, they still kept their calm and did their best to control the situation as you would find from some of the footage that we have seen um, this evening across television 